Good morning, welcome to Fairy and Spoil. Today I'm going to talk to you about living with a six year old dog. So, Harry here um, is six years old, aren't you, darling? Yeah, he's going to be seven um, next month. I've got three dogs, and he's my youngest one. He's only sitting here like this because I've got treats. Um, but yeah, six year old dog, it's. Um, it's an interesting age because they've come through adolescence so you've got through all of that you're not dealing with any of that anymore so they're a lot calmer a lot more obedient but you haven't gone into the senior years yet I tend to find at eight I really notice a difference <laughs> I really notice a difference in my dogs when they're eight years old that's when I really notice the senior so you're not there yet however they're not still young I mean they really are well, not necessarily the middle of their age, because dogs can live, you know, 18, 19. But it, it really is a middle point, because he's still got lots of energy, but he's also starting to show signs of getting a little bit older. So he still has lots of energy, don't you, darling? Do you do still have lots of energy? Yeah, you do. Should we go for a little walk? Come on. So he still has lots of energy, but... Um, Let me throw some treats for you to go and find. Go and find those treats. So he still has lots of energy. He still needs all his walks. But he actually now has a touch of arthritis. It's very, very, very mild. Um, and he doesn't give him any... He basically was just limping a little bit. And um, it, it turned out that it was a bit of arthritis. Which I've treated... If, if, you, if you haven't seen my videos about arthritis... Um, Go to my playlist and then there's a whole playlist about arthritis. It's worth watching because I really, really learned and researched arthritis an awful lot. Learn I learned so much about it and really have this other, my other dog here, Humps, he's, well, that's, we don't know how old he is. That's a whole different, a whole different video. But he had really bad arthritis and he's doing incredibly well now. So if you do have um, arthritis or even if you don't in your dog, it's worth watching it because it should just be something that you're aware of. So with Harry, I'm so basically I've got two other dogs uh, over there, um, and they are old. They, you know, they're around ten, so they're getting a lot older, and they're definitely showing all those behaviours. And that definitely slows Harry down. If we had a younger dog, I think Harry would sh Harry would um, be an awful lot more playful, um, and he could definitely do. He would definitely be okay. I'm just throwing some treats around the floor here so he can go and find them. He would definitely be okay with two walks a day. He could definitely do two walks a day. He doesn't, but it's simply because my old dogs don't want two walks a day and he wouldn't want to go on a walk without them. So he just has one walk a day. So yeah, I'm in the morning, about an hour. And it's not a high energy walk. I mean, parts of it are, but then parts of it aren't. So it's... I think at six, you can still, they can still be really quite energetic, and he is. And he definitely does need more, definitely needs more exercise than my other dogs. Um, and I do more with him. So as an example, I do agility with him. With my other dogs, they do agility, but they do what I call old person's agility. Um, and I will do a video about that. So he does um, the agility course, he's very energetic on it. On our walks, he's very energetic, whereas the others might have started to get tired I'll often leave the older ones with my husband and me and Harry will go off and do more of a walk um, so it's, it's an energetic phase of life it is also still quite a playful stage of life so because my other dogs are old they don't hardly ever want to play but I know for a fact that if we had a younger dog in the house or a dog the same age he would actually want to play a lot he'd be really quite playful so it would be quite i mean my house if you've seen my videos it's ridiculous how calm my dogs are in the house but if we had a younger dog or a dog the same age harry wouldn't be so calm he'd be a lot more playful so if you're um looking at getting a dog maybe you're going to a rescue center and you're looking at getting a dog and you want a dog to be nice and calm six-year-old probably works if they're the only dog you've got or you've got older dogs but if you've got a couple of six-year-olds six seven-year-old or under six year old it could be a lot it could be quite energetic what i don't want you to do is if you watch my videos regularly and you'll see harry in those videos and you'll see he's actually a really nice calm dog but don't be misled by that because if you had a younger dog he would be a lot more playful the other thing you'll notice in my videos is that um 
he's often the one that is whining because he wants my attention, he wants me to play with him, um, or he's barking at something. He's much more, um, he's not quite so, he's, yeah, I, I know Harry, I'm trying to, do you want me to throw more treats? I'm just throwing these tiny little cat treats for him all over the grass. You can see he's quite lively. Um, but yeah, don't be misled by my how calm he is in my videos because he's like that because I live with, we've, got, we've got older dogs. He, you could easily think, oh, well, I'm going to get that dog of that age and he's going to be that calm. And then if you've got younger dogs, it wouldn't be that calm. As always, walking him, absolutely vital. There's no, you can't get away from that. You have to walk, you know, you have to walk every dog, even if they're really old. It's cruel not to. Um, and so he does need that walk every day and he needs stimulation. So, like I said, I do agility with him. But I also do an awful lot of training with him. I do training with all of my dogs. But each dog, the training is different levels. He's quite intelligent. So he, I do a quite a lot of, we do a lot of, t we do lots of training, don't we, darling? Are you excited? Look, lifting the paw there. Now, lifting that paw there, let me show you this. Say no! You ready to go running? Ready? Go on then, go running. <laughs> Where do they go? <laughs> so I just throw treats around in the grass and he has to find it. He's got a nose, like, because he's got a beagle and basset hound in him. His sense of smell is really, really strong. And so I do stuff like this. So just grab a handful of treats, throw them in the grass and let him find them. Stuff stuff like this, really to get his nose going, give him stuff to do. I do lots of training at home, you know, all the basics. Um, but I teach him other stuff. He needs a stimulation. He, um, if you watch my video, which I know a lot of you have, about how to stop a dog attention seeking, you didn't know where they went, did you? All right, well, I'm going to throw him in. I'm going to throw him in a straight line. Look, watch. Yeah, and we're going to go in a straight line. Where have you gone? <laughs> no, Harry, they went over here. Harry, you went the wrong way. They went this way. Look, go over there and find them. That's it. Um, in my attention-seeking video, he's the one I'm talking about, and because he, in the wrong hands, he could be re he could be a really really difficult dog because he's at that age where he. He still needs a lot of attention and a lot of stimulation, and so it's important that he gets that. However, at the same point, he is starting to show the signs of being older and like this touch of arthritis. But even if he didn't have arthritis, what I have noticed about him now that he's six is he does sleep more. He does def definitely does sleep more. Um, and you'll see in my videos, you know, they're always asleep, and he definitely does sleep more, and he'll sleep solid through the night, no problems with that at all. As they get older, and I've noticed that with my other with, um, little Albert, who's 10, um, as they get older, they don't sleep so well during the night, but he's solid, he'll sleep solid through the night, and he sleeps a lot during the day, but only because I give him the stimulation of doing stuff like find it, and different, you know, go again. I'm not just throwing handfuls and handfuls like I just showed you, they're only, he's only going to get like a little bit now. And he's not even finding them all. What, ready? What, ready? Find it! <laughs> um, yeah, he sleeps really well at night. Obviously, if you know my channel, I'm a little bit fanatical about dog nutrition. Um, and so I keep his nutrition, keep his weight really nice. Which, you know, I keep the weight really nice with all my dogs at all ages. Um, and because he's still energetic, it's really quite easy to keep it um, at a good good weight. His health is um, really good, really, really good health, apart from this issue with the arthritis, which, as I said, because I've dealt with it, you wouldn't even know he had it. it it's really, you hardly ever see it, really wouldn't know you had it. Um, so that's all good. So what I would say is, if you are looking to rescue a dog and you're trying to work out which age dog to get, get a six-year-old if you still want them to be able to go out on walks and the other thing is is if you've got the sort of life where you go around to family and friends and you visit them or they come around to you six-year-olds is a good age to have that at. because the thing is if you have got older dogs they don't always do so well with that I know with my older dogs they wouldn't do well if we you know out of routine went around and visited somebody or they just wouldn't be too they're not too good with that kind of stuff um, and so I tend not to do it really just to give them a routine and a peaceful life but Pickle Boy here, Harry, he would love to go. He loves going around to see people, um, around to people's houses, have people come around. He loves all of that. So if you have got a busy family and you do go around and out and about and not, six-year-old dog is, is a good age to have. It's a good age to do it. But do be aware that obviously, you know, once they hit... What? 
I can't keep throwing them, darling, because you're going to have too many. We'll throw one more. One more little treat. Yeah? You go find this. Go find it then. Um, and the other thing is, is that if you've got children, I think six is probably the best age because um, any older and you risk the whole risk of they might be slightly hurting a bit or they just get tired um, and children doesn't work with older dogs at all. Um, doesn't work. Puppies and children, obviously that works as long as you know what you're doing. The six-year-olds is a good age, I think, with children because they've they've got they're, they're older, but they haven't got they're more sensible, but they haven't got the whole rattiness going on. Um, yeah, if you're quite, you know, you want to go on longer walks and stuff like that. Six-year-olds is a good age, but do be aware that they are getting older. They're not a puppy anymore. They're not in like four or five-year-old where they can just they can go forever running. Um, be aware that they are getting older and so yeah sure take them on longer walks and stuff but make sure you still have lots of breaks with them and do that with him so we'll go on walks but then we'll have a break and we'll sit under a tree for 20 minutes or whatever just watch the world go by so um you, you've got to really be aware that at six you really are you, you you you're you're really on the, you know you're like you're on the seesaw of life you're not young anymore <laughs> a bit like me I'm not young anymore but i'm certainly showing the signs of age um and that's what it's like with them. But you you, you do need to still give them... In men I mean, I give all dogs need mental stimulation, but just at different levels. Whereas Harry does require quite a lot. Um, there's not really a lot more to say, really, at six. Life's quite simple with a six-year-old dog. Your health should all be good. Um, but, you know, again, with any dog, it doesn't matter. Just one more, then. Just one more. One, one more little one. Are right, ready? Find it. It went over there. Um, with any dog, you know, if you get nutrition bad, you get leadership bad, you get exercise bad, the dog's going to be bad. So, you know, if you've if you've never had a dog before, or here's all my other boys, if you've never had a dog before, it's well worth watching my videos because I've had dogs for a long, long time, long, long time, and I'm. Because I rescue and that, I've come across all sorts of problems, and I just, you know, I just share what I know, and and it has helped people, so it's worth watching because you might help you too. So I don't think I've got anything else to say. That's little Albert. So he's ten. Um, we've got Humps here, who we don't really know how old he is. He could be anything from six to twelve. I'm going to do a whole different video about that. Um, yeah, and then we've got little, and we've got Harry there. So I'm um, going to leave it on that note. I haven't got anything else to say. There isn't an awful lot to say about six, year, six years old, really. Not a lot's happening. Unlike, I've got to do a video soon for little Albert over there, who's 10, and I've got quite a lot to talk about because a lot happens. But um, six is quite a nice, simple age. Yeah, it's not a bad age to go, to go for at all. Um, one thing that you might hear me saying a lot is how much I love the energy of older dogs. I really, lo really love the energy of older dogs. That's kind of where I'm going to start going now. I'm going to start rehoming older dogs like so like eight nine ten and older um because i just love their energy so much and harry hasn't yet got that energy but humps here has got the most wonderful relaxed energy um well <laughs> he has a lot of behavioral issues but you know he's a rescue you know all about that if you watch my channel but little albert over there who's 10 a beautiful relaxed he finding he's found finding some of the treats beautiful relaxed energy well Harry doesn't quite have that yet he hasn't got that old dog's energy that I'm always talking about it's, it's a lively energy anyway so that's all I've got to say so as always you know where I am I'm on the socials dog tip of the day if you've got any questions at all don't hesitate to contact me um I'm, I'm happy to help so that's it everyone's left me they've all gone away all right so thanks for watching have a great day I'll see you in the next video Bye bye